Hey guys, this is Joy Banerjee from AIKID support and this time we will see a little bit of few commands of PowerShell and those commands are quite similar which we run in the past in command prompt. So we are just want to discuss what are the commands of taking up a few examples like which commands are same and still we can run it on new PowerShell. Okay, so let's look at example like we want to uh, do a directory listing okay so if you talk about the windows administrator we always do a dir okay so that will do a directory listing for us and if we talk about a linux guy we will be doing a ls right so the both things are same it is providing an output and giving us a directory listing okay so but these two commands we are running it from the powershell so how it is happening so uh, there are certain other commands as well we will uh, really look up on right but first thing is okay, let me, but the first thing is we need to really check out which are the commands and what exactly the command is running in the back end to get this so these are the pre-default predefined aliases in powershell okay so how do we really get that okay to get the, uh, that particular thing we can do get alias okay and then we can look for the definition okay and we can go for a particular command which is producing a multiple uh, sort of producing the same result but it is using different aliases so we know for this we are running a commandlet which is a powershell commandlet which is child item okay let's say we get hyphen child item so there are certain predefined aliases okay for child item so we want to know what are those aliases okay so we can hit enter you can see dir ls and gci is also for providing you the child item which is a directory listing okay so let's take another example okay if you are a windows guy what you will do is to clear the screen you will write to clear the screen you will write cls okay or if you are a unix guy you will write clear okay but what is happening in the back end so if you want to check what is happening in the back end so if we write clear so you see the screen is clear now so ultimately what we are doing is let's say we type something or something okay we are doing get first okay so it is a clear hyphen host okay so this is the command which is happening exactly and again this is having some aliases okay let's find that up here get alias alias definition definition for the command which is happening is clear then post okay so we can see there are two uh, aliases which are we can run uh, as a windows admin i can run cls or as a unix admin i can run clear ultimately it is referring to a commandlet which is a powershell commandlet which is clear post so I'm just trying to put you a few examples that how easy is PowerShell. Okay, if you want to learn PowerShell, then obviously you should look upon and do some hands-on on PowerShell. It's not difficult. It's clearly said as it is giving you a verb. The first thing is a verb, and then we produce a noun to get the result. Okay, so again uh, we can do a uh, get child item okay so you will be getting familiar okay so let's say i want to change my directory what we do if we talk about 
windows we do cd okay to change the directory but at this moment what we can do is we can run a powershell command to change the location so for that we will do set set then we'll do location okay and then we'll define the new location on which we want to move let's say it is intel okay i will do a tab it will do auto complete and then we'll hit enter we have changed the location again if i want to check okay is there any aliases for this command so that i can really quickly uh, run those uh, aliases then what we can do is again run the same command with uh, the command was set location okay so we i can i can run cd okay i can run ch uh, chdir which is change dir directory and also i can run sl so these are the few short short uh, aliases for set location command okay i will fix this in the next video okay so this is one of the thing and let's say i want to check which is my working current working directory so i will run a command called pwd okay so that will give me a current working id which is which is uh, again c slash into okay so what is running in the backend there is again a commandlet powershell commandlet which is says as get location okay so previously we were trying to doing the set location but at this moment we want to check which location we are in so we will do a get location it will give a same output let's say i want to check the other aliases for this as well okay so i can again run the command alias then definition then get location okay so it says gl which will get location and pwd is for get location so hope this informative uh, this video is very really informative for you and i would like to really get some input from you this is a, a little bit of brush up of uh, powershell in the previous command previous uh, video which i made that was to check the powershell version and hope that video is also informative you can just jump in and check it check the particular video as well but this is a brush up to really let you know that the powershell is not a difficult stuff or do not really run away from this okay so we will be creating more videos like this and so that you can really learn about powershell and make the things easy for you okay so hope this video is informative do subscribe my channel do put your comments that will help me to build another uh, video with more and loads of information okay thank you very much this is joy energy signing off from aik adi support do check out my website the web url is there in the description okay thank you